Our fifth and last presenter is Ms. Sera Bakushi. Okay. Okay, please start. Thank you for your kind introduction. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sera Bakushi. I'm here to introduce you to a nifty little new diagnostic tool called Gini3. Designed and manufactured in Japan, and most definitely bound to become a major player in the fight against emerging infectious diseases worldwide. You probably wonder, what does it do? Why should you care? And how is it going to make a difference? Let me tell you. But first, a little background. How many people here have ever had the flu? The influenza virus. Thank you. And well, as I'm sure most people know, the flu is a disease caused by a virus that causes fatigue, headache, and fever. Some people get seriously ill, but most recover within a week or so. Actually, people do die from the flu, but it's very, very unusual. Now, how many of you have heard of HIV? Okay, thank you. And yes, HIV is very well known. And once you've been diagnosed with HIV, there's no cure. Current medical advances allow you to manage and control HIV, but you can't get rid of it. It's with you for the rest of your life. Well, influenza and HIV have something in common. They are both viral infectious diseases, and they love infecting people like you and me. And now, an even more dangerous viral infectious disease has reared its ugly head to threaten global health. Ebola hemorrhagic fever. I'm sure you've heard of it. The recent outbreak in Western Africa caused great concern in all over the world and was all over the news and you know what it is. And it is not only Africa, but also in developed countries. The US, Spain, England, France, Italy, Germany, all had confirmed cases of Ebola. Not as many as the thousands infected in Africa, but still, Ebola can hit worldwide. But what makes Ebola so dangerous? Why is it causing so much confusion in the world? Well, Ebola hemorrhagic fever is a viral infectious disease first identified in Central Africa that causes severe symptoms like vomiting, diarrhea, internal bleeding, and multiple organ failure. Its fatality rate is very high. 50 to 90% of all patients infected with the Ebola virus will eventually die. And it's extremely infectious. It spreads very, very rapidly. To understand Ebola, we need to understand viruses. How do viruses work? Well, they make you sick by entering your body and then replicating, making copies of themselves to make build strength and mass to break down your body's natural defenses. Whereas the flu virus needs to make 1,000 to 3,000 copies of itself to make you sick, the Ebola virus needs just one copy. That's how powerful this virus is and how very, very infectious. On top of that, there's no proven cure for Ebola at this point. This is not a problem just for African countries. The whole world, including Japan, a so-called safe country, should be very worried at, with Ebola because of the international movement, trouble, ever-increasing globalization. We are all vulnerable. So, what can we do to stop this dreadful, incurable disease? 
early and quick diagnosis. Accurate diagnosis enables us to know where the virus is, who has it, who is most vulnerable, and to take measures to keep it from spreading and protect us. The testing kit currently used for diagnosis is good, but also very expensive. It's heavy, difficult to use, and diagnosis takes time. Dr. Jiro Yasuda and his team at Nagasaki University improved on the current kit by designing GD3. Whereas the O1 costs 6 million yen, GD3 goes for only 1.4 million yen. And whereas, whereas the O1 is fairly cumbersome, GD3 is very light and easy to use. And whereas the O1 takes several hours to obtain diagnosis, GD3 gets the job done in 20 minutes with 100% accuracy. In short, GD3 is four times cheaper, five times lighter, and six times quicker. This means countries that need it can afford it. It can easily be carried on location and set up quickly. Results come in almost instantaneously, so healthcare workers and government can start implementing control measures sooner. And this 100% Japanese technology, officially approved by the WHO, was developed with a grant from the Japanese government. Toshiba is the offshore manufacturer and distributor. And it has already been adopted in Guinea, where Japanese healthcare workers are training local people in its usage. Besides Guinea, which is currently still fighting Ebola outbreak, other African countries that are possible Ebola targets are obvious candidates. As a matter of fact, Mali, another high-risk country, has already shown strong interest in purchasing Gini 3 But you may ask, what happens to Gini 3 after Ebola? Well, Dr. Yasuda has designed it so it can easily be modified to diagnose other emerging infectious diseases. And this low-priced, lighter, very quick mobile Ebola testing device has already shown its worth in the fight against worldwide diseases. And it has the potential to make a big difference in future efforts to make the world a healthier and happier place. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. And now we'll go to the judges for the first question. Thank you very much for the presentation. I wonder, can you explain in simple terms a yes. little more what is the technology Okay. How is it new, and where was it developed? I couldn't quite follow the, the timeline of where Genie 3 has come from okay. and what technology it uses and therefore why it's so different. Okay, the technology of Genie 3. Thank you for your question. And the technology of Genie 3, the Dr. Jerry Yasuda um, applied the method already been invented with Japanese company called LAMP technology. And with this LAMP technology, by using a special enzyme, and the enzyme, it makes the reaction proceeded in constant temperature, so that it makes Gini 3 cheaper and lighter and quick. Thank you. One other quick question. You had mentioned yes. HIV. Yes. Does this Gini 3 have any use in relation to HIV infection? Yes, um, answer is yes, and with a relation with HIV. Um, as I mentioned, it can easily be modified to di um, diagnose other infectious diseases, including HIV. Um, right now, Gini 3 is designed to detect Ebola virus, but it can be modified to detect HIV virus too. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, our second question from the judge. Just yes, it was yes. very interesting uh, presentation. And uh, <clears throat> what kind of um, uh, other 
uh, application you can expect in the medical area or yes. if you have other areas, I would like to hear that. Okay, that is a very good question. Thank you for asking. So, other utility for Gini3. Um, actually, Gini3 is not only for developing countries. It can be used in developed countries too. Um, for example, hospitals, we can use in hospitals. And most importantly, Gini3 can be used in quarantine for people and animal, in airports and airplane. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And now we'll go to the audience. Does anyone in the audience have a question for Ms. Bakashi? Okay, no questions. I think you are also lucky today. Thank okay, you. thank you very much, Ms. Bakashi. Thank you so much.